it's me in real life. I know you don't see me uh, on camera without like the game behind me very much, but I'm here because I got my Nintendo Switch today, my second one. <laughs> this is the Animal Crossing edition. I could not believe this one's in stock when I went to go look for it and I got it. So I'm very excited to do a new island with you, but I figured I'd do an unboxing. And also in this video, I will show you my Mac streaming setup for those of you who want to make Animal Crossing videos or make videos um, with uh, audio and, and video from your Nintendo Switch, but don't know how to do it. So um, we will walk through that. Anyway, let's get to opening this baby. All right, I'll adjust the camera and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here is the box. It's beautiful, it's very cute. So on the front, of course, is the picture of what it looks like with Timmy and Tommy and Tom Nook and everything. And then on the back, it is a fun little Animal Crossing picture scene. On the side, there are pictures of what it looks like. Boom, Nintendo Switch. So there you have it. I hope I don't need any tape to open this. I probably will. Oh, no, I don't, okay, good. Here we go. This is exciting. There's the serial number. Ooh, yay! So it's just like any other Switch if you've never had a Switch before, but except it's got different color Joy-Cons and it's got some custom art on the back. Let me get the camera a little closer. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the Switch part of this out. Wow, it's not, doesn't come out very easily. All right, nice. We've got the little like actual Switch part of the switch. Yay. Beautiful. Ooh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll take out the Joy-Cons. And I bought my Nintendo Switch on launch day. Oh my gosh. Each one of these Joy-Cons have, wait, oh, they, they have a serial number, each one of them? Wow, they have different serial numbers. So the blue one, is this, do I put them on? What do I do? <laughs> um, I'm not going, I'm just gonna remember which one is which. So anyway, I was saying, I bought my Nintendo Switch on launch day in 2016. So I know that they've tried to repair, repair these Joy-Cons so that they don't drift as much. Um, I mean, if they have, I, I appreciate that, but um, we'll, we'll see how well these keep up. Um, but they're really cute. They have white on the back and blue and green on the front. Very adorable, super, super cute. So the buttons feel pretty good. I mean, they feel like regular Joy-Cons. I did purchase in anticipation of this, some analog thumb covers for these Joy-Cons. So I'll put those on after the fact, but let me just put this on here. Oh, it feels really special to have a brand new Switch. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, let me put this off to the side and open the rest of the box. I'm just assuming that it's the dock and the AC adapter and all that stuff, except what is, oh, this is the little like Joy-Con holders, which no one uses, I don't think. Does anyone use these? Let me know. Do you use these? I, I never use these. I mean, they're meant to go, they're meant to protect, protect the size of the Joy-Con because they have buttons, but I, nev I never ever use them. So um, there's the instructions. Here is, oh, you get one of these little guys. I forgot to like hold the Joy-Cons if you wanna play like this. I'll probably be playing like that during um, during streaming and making videos. Here is the HDMI cord. You can never have too many of those. And here is the power adapter. You can also never have too many of those. <laughs> so you've got HDMI um, and power adapter, beautiful. And here we have our beautiful special edition dock, which makes this extra special. Oh, it's actually adorable. So I will let you see it. Look, it's got Timmy and Tommy and Tom Nook on there. It's so cute. It's actually all this cream, beautiful cream color, unlike a regular Switch dock. And, but I mean, other, like a regular Switch dock, it's the same. There's nothing different except for the color. So it's really nice. Even the bottom parts, the little inside parts are exactly the same as the other switch. They didn't like make custom parts for this switch. So I'm going to plug my switch in and get it started. So, oh, let's put this in the dock and see how it looks. Let's do that, let's do that. 
True, true. Yay! Isn't that pretty and cute? Hello, Timmy and Tommy. Ooh! Okay, let's plug this in and set it up. Oh, I think I neglected to show you the back of this switch. It's very different from a regular switch. It has these cute little like villager patterns on the back. It's super subtle, but it's a nice touch. I really like that they did that on this switch. So I'm pretty sure the switch always comes with a little bit of charge so that you can at least turn it on. Um, I haven't turned mine off and on in so long I forgot where the power button was. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. Comes with a little bit of charge, Nintendo. Ooh, the glare, the glare. There we go, Nintendo Switch. Hi, you can see my face. Hello, hello. Oh, fun! Oh, we're gonna choose English, of course. Uh, the Americas. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of anticipation. All right. And we're gonna hook this up to the internet and I will be right back. Okay, friends, it's the next day. I didn't get a chance to film yesterday, but I'm gonna show you my gaming setup and how I stream. So if you're interested in streaming Animal Crossing, or making videos, videos, and you have a Mac, um, there's hope, there's hope. All right, let me show you. First, I'm gonna show you my super cute dog who's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Clover. Okay, he's, he's over it. So here's my office closet. You guys have seen my auto full gaming chair. I like this gaming chair a lot, but the only thing about it that's annoying is that pillow falls down every time I get up out of the chair. Um, it's got cute little bunny ears where you can wear them, but I think I broke mine, so I can't wear them anymore. They're just on the chair. It's even got a little tail in the back, if you don't know. Like, can we just? So here is my office closet. It's a clothis, a closet office. <laughs> you guys get it. Um, so there's my GameCube down there. That's where that lives. That's where I, uh, that's where all the uh, old school Animal Crossing stuff happens. And I got a new computer. This is my new Mac Mini, and it has a Magic Keyboard and a Magic Trackpad and a big ultra wide screen. I have two lights set up here. These are super cheap lights. These are actually from a company called New Wear or something. I know they make a lot of audio visual equipment, but they are. I mean, I wanted the Elgato key lights, but like they're expensive. So maybe I'll upgrade to those at some point, but these are working just fine. Um, right now they have like little things where you can turn them off. Oh no, that's the, that's not, that's not what I want. Oh, here's my little, turn that on just like that. And instead of a webcam, I actually have a camera as my webcam and it is hooked up to the hub, which all my peripherals are hooked up through here, except for my microphone, which I will talk about in a second. But this is a hub that I got for my MacBook, but now it powers um, the peripherals for my Mac mini. And it's awesome because in the back, it has all of the things you need to stream hooked up into this. So the main thing is if you want to make videos using your Nintendo Switch, this is my brand new one, isn't it cute? You need a capture card, um, and a way to get video from your capture card onto your, onto your computer. So um, the capture card I have is the Elgato HD60S Plus. You can use the HD60 and it's fine because um, Animal Crossing and I think a lot of Nintendo games are in like 720. Um, very few of them are in like 1080p 60. So um, I think Animal Crossing is in 1080 I think. Anyway, it's not, it's, it's not 4K, so yet. Um, but the HD60S Plus is really good. If you have a Mac, this is the one you should buy because it will, it's a plug and play for your Mac. The HD60 um, will work, but you need a plug-in to make it work. And it's, it, the workarounds are really difficult. It's the capture card that I had before. So if you have a Mac and you wanna make Animal Crossing videos, I would definitely recommend get the HD60S Plus. It's an extra like $30, maybe $20. Just spend the extra money and get the Plus. Um, otherwise, it's, it's, a, it's a real pain in the butt. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Um, so there. Anyway, the HD60 Plus is plugged into the Nintendo Switch in the back. Um, it's got an, it comes with an HDMI cable and that's what it uses. So it's got an HDMI cable hooked up to the Nintendo Switch, it goes into the Elgato capture card and then the signal goes, it, it does something magical and it's transformed out. Um, and this, this is the power. 
this is the HDMI, and both of them are plugged into my hub for my Mac um, Mini. And I also have a camera as my webcam because I like to be in 1080 when I'm streaming to you guys and making videos. So this Mac uh, hub is really cool. I think it was like a hundred bucks or something. It was not cheap, but I love it so much. And in order to use your real camera as a webcam, it neither needs to be like a, a really new camera. I think new cameras you can plug directly into your computer or you need um, a capture card just like this one. Um, this is just a smaller capture card. It's the Elgato Cam Link. This is the most popular one, but you can buy really cheap ones on Amazon for like 25 bucks and they work almost as well. I don't think the picture is as beautiful, but um, it's, you know, it's pretty good. This is the microphone I use. This is the Elgato Wave 3 and I bought this, um, what is this one called? I, I always forget what this is called, pop filter for it, pop filter. And it's on basically a boom arm. I bought this really cheap boom arm from Amazon. So you can buy one, I think it was really cheap, like $20, I might replace it one day. But it's basically my favorite mic for making videos with Mac because there is a problem <laughs> that I haven't talked about when making videos with your Nintendo Switch. If you have a Mac and you, need to make videos and you need to hear your game audio during the gameplay and making videos, it's not that easy. The way that Mac systems are set up, it's incredibly difficult to get audio from your game system without also hearing your commentary um, because I use um, a really nice, look at my, look at my dog, really nice um, software to to make videos and I'll show you that in a second. So the program I use to stream is called Ecamm Live and Ecamm Live is a great piece of software if you have a Mac. You can make gaming videos, you can live stream. It does cost, I think like $100 a year maybe. I'm not sure, it's not free like OBS, but it is really, really great for Mac. So you can set up scenes just like on um, any other streaming software. So I have set up here um, my starting soon screen and then I can go to Nintendo and have me there. Hi! And it's really great. It has all these um, different sound inputs. It works really well on Mac. And so the reason I have it on Wavelink Stream because that's the software that is hooked up to this, um, this microphone. So the reason this microphone is really helpful is because it comes with this amazing piece of software called Wavelink. And with Wavelink, you can listen to the game audio. See, it's got game capture. That's the Elgato game capture card. And this is the microphone. You can listen to yourself if you want, but I prefer not to. I find that incredibly distracting. So I can choose here I can choose to not listen to myself <laughs> or I can you know choose this option and listen to whatever the audience can hear. Currently this software does not work correctly with M1 um, chips so if you have a brand 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 new computer um, this is not going to be great for you if you're trying to get music from Spotify and stuff, but luckily this still works to separate the, the audio from your voice and the audio from the game capture card and it allows me to integrate Ecamm Live. So that's all the functionality I really need at this point. Um, I, I am excited for them to fix it again so I can hook up Spotify to this again or I can play audio from Safari, but um, otherwise this is perfectly fine and I can do all kinds of fun, th fun things <laughs> with Ecamm Live, I can go live and all kinds of stuff. And I have um, a bunch of different scenes, so that's how that's how that works. I also, I don't have a physical stream deck, but there is a little thing called the stream deck that you can use when you're streaming to quickly change scenes without having to, you know, do all this on my computer screen. Cause here are all the scenes here, but like I don't need to necessarily do that, but I do have a phone. My old phone acts as a stream deck so I can choose game start and it'll go to that scene automatically without me, you know, having to press the button there. Let me see if I can capture it. <laughs> there, it's kind of fun. 
So and on the stream deck, I also have it programmed so I can see how many viewers there are, um, stop the music, I can do a buzzer, and these are from my other channel. And I have I happen to find the stream deck app really, really helpful um, because it's not, it doesn't take up a lot of space like the physical stream deck, although I wouldn't mind having the buttons and stuff, but that's just an option there um, to use while you're streaming. All right, so there's my Mac gaming streaming setup. I hope it was helpful. I don't know. All right, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.